This video is on transforming parabolas. So we're going to talk about how we can shift a parabola around, how we can widen it or narrow it, and understanding what a maximum and a minimum is. First off, let's understand what maximum and minimum mean. A maximum or a minimum are other words for vertex. If a parabola ha is pointing straight down, like this parabola right here, the very, very top of this parabola is the maximum. If you have a parabola that is pointing down, I'm sorry, not sorry, pointing up, then the very, very lowest point is the minimum. But both maximum and minimum are other words for vertex. It's important to understand they are still, they, they are still just vertex. So let's take a look at these four different functions. y equals x squared, y equals 2x squared, y equals negative 2x squared, and y equals 1 half x squared. I'm going to try graphing each of these to show you what happens when you start manipulating the number in front of the x squared. So let's start off by graphing the parabola for x squared. We can start by plugging in a bunch of numbers. 0 squared is 0, 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 4, and 3 squared is 9. Draw that side, and of course you can go ahead and put your matching points to the other side. Now let's try graphing the red 2x squared. Start with 0. 0 squared is 0 times 2 is 0, so same vertex. 1 squared is 1 times 2 is 2. So it goes here. Don't forget to put your matching one on the other side. Uh, 2 squared is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. And, and let's draw the parabola. So you see, when I put a number larger than 1 in front of the x squared, it actually makes it go narrower, skinnier. Now let's try the blue function. Negative 2 x squared. So let's try plugging in 0. 0 squared is 0 times negative 2 is still 0. 1 squared is 1 times negative 2 is negative 2. Don't forget to put your matching point on the other side. Let's try 2 squared. 2 squared is 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. So you see, by putting a negative in front of the x squared, it makes the parabola point down, which is something we've already explored. Now let's try the last problem, 1 half. So again, start with 0. 0 squared is 0 times 1 half is 0. 1 squared is 1 times 1 half is 1 half. So there, matching point on the other side. Let's try 2. 2 squared is 4, half of 4 is 2. So here and here. So you see now the parabola has actually gotten wider. So let's summarize. If the a that means the number in front of x squared. If that number oops, sorry. If that number is positive, it's going to make the problem go up. If the a is negative, then it's going to make the problem go down. 
if the number, and by absolute value I mean ignoring the negative or positive, if that a is a number bigger than 1, then the parabola gets narrower, but if a is less than 1, like a fraction, then it gets wider. So that's important to know that by less than 1, less than 1, I mean a fraction. Okay? A fraction that is fractions that are less than 1. So let's talk about vertex form. This is going to help us understand how parabolas get transformed. There's a bunch of things in here that you need to know what they stand for. First off, we know the A controls a bunch of different things. So the A, it controls up or down and also controls wide or narrow. Now what is the H and the K for? Well, the H and the K, they are a point. And this point is the vertex. So we can find the vertex uh, by just looking at H and K, as long as it's in vertex form. Also, please be aware that we do have a minus sign here in the problem. So anything here with a plus would really be a negative number. So let's take a look at this. We have a problem that's already in vertex form. We're going to take a look at the H. The H is right here. It is a negative 2. And this number right here, it's the K, and it's equal to a positive 4. So, in other words, the vertex is at negative 2, comma, 4, which tells me that the parabola, it's shifted 2 to the left and 4 up. Let's try that again. Here's a new problem. Again, let's identify the A. I'm sorry, identify the H. H is right there h is equal to a positive 3 because of the normal minus in the formula and this number right here is our k and this time we pay attention to the fact that it's negative so negative 1. So our vertex is at 3 comma negative 1. Also it's important to notice that there is an a a right now is equal to 2. So what was the shift? The shift of this is that it moved a parabola 3 right and 1 down. But also, since the A is a 2, it's bigger than 1, it, it got narrower. All right, one more problem. Let's identify everything we see. First off, our a is equal to negative 1 half. Our h, we see it says plus 4, so it was really a negative 4. And our k is the actual negative 2 that we see. So our vertex is at negative 4 comma negative 2. This parabola, it shifted, it shifted 4 spaces to the left for the negative 4x and 2 spaces down for the negative 2y. On top of that we have an a which is negative so this points down And also, since it's one half, it's a wider problem. 
identifying what is a maximum minimum is you do need to identify what's up and down. So in this problem, we see that our h is 3 and our k is negative 1. So our vertex is at 3 comma negative 1. So since this problem goes up because of the positive 2, then the 3 and the negative 1 will be on the very bottom of the parabola. So since this goes up, the vertex is going to be down here. So what's the, me the minimum of this? The minimum is going to be negative 1. Okay. So since it goes up, the vertex is on the bottom, and negative 1 is our minimum. The minimum and the maximum are always the y value. Okay, let's take a look at this problem. Our vertex in this problem is a negative 4 for our h, a negative 2 for our y. We look at the a. The a number is negative, so this one goes down like this. So the vertex is going to be way up here at the top. And since it's at the top, that means that the vertex is a maximum vertex. And so the maximum y value is negative 2. Now, how do you put something that's not in, stand, uh, not in vertex form back in the vertex form? The way we do this is actually by completing the square. So let's pretend like we need to complete the square for x squared minus 4x. Leave some space and now put in parentheses and leave the plus 2 on the outside. So what number will we need to add into here? We need to add in a plus 4. Now since I added 4 in here, I can't just be adding 4 to the y. So instead, if I add 4 here, my space out here is a minus 4. That makes sure that actually, in reality, I'm not adding anything because I have a positive 4 and a negative 4, a 0. But since I'm grouping the, the plus 4 with the x squared minus 4x, that means that I can finish by completing the square into x minus 2 squared. And on the outside, now I have 2 minus 4 is negative 2. So now it's actually in vertex form. And our, in this problem, our vertex is at 2 comma negative 2, which, and it is a positive a. a is positive 1. So we have a minimum value, and that is at negative 2. Okay? So this is kind of like a, a flow. So because we have this vertex, and because we have that a, so we have a minimum of negative 2. OK, let's try that again. So in this problem, first off, let's group the 2x squared minus 4x space parenthesis minus 3. I notice that both the 2x squared and the 4x both have both can have a GCF of 2. So let's pull him out. And now I have to figure out what number is going to go into our space. Well, the number that completes this square is plus 1. And if I add one in here, do I add one on the outside? Well, remember, this one is inside a parenthesis with a 2 on the outside. So because of that, I'm not actually adding 1. I'm technically adding 1 times 2. I'm actually adding 2. And since I'm adding 2 in the pr for the parentheses, I have to minus 2 on the outside. Oops. 
So now I'm ready to actually rewrite my completed square as x minus 1 squared would be the factor for x squared minus 2x plus 1. And negative 2 minus 2 is negative 5. So what is the vertex? The vertex for this problem is at 1 comma negative 5. And because of this, I now have to look at the a. The a in this problem is 2. And because I have a positive a, that means that we have a minimum. And we look at the y value of the vertex for a minimum, negative 5. Okay, I hope this I hope this has helped you out. If you had trouble completing the square, then I suggest you go back and watch that video and I'll see you in class. Leave any questions in the comments.